my channel. This is Michelle. Now, first of all, let me tell you, I absolutely love this wig. Now, I'm letting my shade size grow out, and so I am wearing wigs to camouflage my size as I go through the transition stage. And I have been wearing this wig all week at work, and I have gotten so many compliments on how nice it looks and particularly how natural the part looks. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take your part from looking like this to looking like this. To customize the lace, I am using this everyday bandage wrap. I got it at my local CVS right in the first aid aisle for seven bucks. A lot cheaper than that $24 scar away that I see some people use. Now we're just gonna cut off a strip long enough to cover the length of the part and to customize it and make it look like my skin tone, I am applying a little bit of face powder and I did end up going back over this with some CoverGirl foundation that I had laying around uh, because I figured that would actually dye the color of the wrap a lot better than the powder would. To apply this to the wig, I'm just using some bonding glue. So I'm using the Salon Pro 30 Second Bonding Glue, applying that directly to the wig itself, and then applying the bandage over top of the glue, pressing down to make sure it's nice and secure, and also pressing down in the center to get it really next to the lace in the part. And this is the finished look. You can see all the holes and the lace are completely camouflaged and it looks a lot more natural. Now this is not a lace front wig, so to further customize it to attach it more securely to my head, I applied an elastic wig band and I got this one from my local beauty supply store for about $1.99. And this is what the band looks like. The first thing we're gonna do is take some measuring tape and measure how long we need the band to be. And I measured at about 11 inches, and so I'm gonna cut the band at 10 inches. So one inches less than what your head measures. And because I have the combs here, I am going to place the band right underneath the comb in the direction, the same direction in which the wig cap is flowing. So it's a natural uh, fit with the band. And I am basically just sewing the band on, sewing right underneath the lace of the wig cap and not through the entire wig itself, of course. And I am just sewing all the way across. When I get to the end, I'm sewing back in the opposite direction just to double up the stitching so the band is nice and secure over the life of us wearing this wig. And to sew the other side of the band, you wanna pull the band across the front of your mannequin head, not around the back because you want to make sure there's enough tension there to really secure this unit to your head. And we're just gonna repeat the same process on this side as we did on the first side. So this is the finished result here, you guys, after installing the band and customizing the lace. And I told you I wore this wig all week at work and the band holds the wig very securely on your head. Now I did tack it in the center. Um, I didn't have to do that, but I tacked it down in the center with a little bit of got to be, uh, just to make sure the wig wouldn't move right at the center since the band is really holding it taut at the sides. That gave me a little bit of extra security. But um, you guys, this is it. I love the way this turned out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give your girl a thumbs up. Also, make sure you leave me some comments, let me know what you think, and also share this video with your friends and your family. Do not get out of here, crew, before subscribing and joining the Fit and Fabulous crew. Make sure you follow me on IG, Facebook, and Twitter, all my social media channels. My handles are right there. And until the next video, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and make sure you get fit and fabulous.